Hi, my name is Lily Pierce. I make videos about life with a disability and I have a disability called Friedrich's Taxi that does fit my speech. As you've likely already noticed. Bit of a shift to the intro there, so sorry if that didn't come off quite as smooth as it should have but we'll get better at it. Today, I'm here to complain about an incident that happened last week in the Lowe's bathroom. It's absolutely disgusting. And also very reflective of the trials and tribulations of a wheelchair user. And I also want to complain and make some jokes about other bathroom related, handicap related issues while I'm at it. So the other day, my mom and I went to a meeting at a church and of course, the bathroom had no grab bars, no accessibility. Why would there be, right? So after the meeting, we went to Lowe's because number one, I needed some potting soil. Number two, we could peruse the houseplant section while we're at it. And number three, most importantly, we know Lowe's has an accessible bathroom. We get there, we get out of the car, we walk in the store, we're going to the back where the restrooms are. So we get there, and there's a freaking forklift blocking the entrance. Because why wouldn't there be? An able-bodied person could have shimmied past the forklift to get to the bathroom. But of course, they didn't think about whether a person in a walker or a wheelchair would be able to get through. Because no one ever seems to consider the fact that handicapped people, you know, exist and like go out in public so we're waiting for five minutes or so as some employees come and move the forklift out of the way i'm kind of irritated but also i'm kind of immune to stuff like this because i've become so accustomed to feeling like a square peg that's trying to fit in a round hole. That's often what it feels like interacting with the world as a disabled person. And having things block me from getting in the bathroom happens all the time. Boxes being stacked up and blocking the door from opening all the way is the most common one that I get at gas stations and occasionally at restaurants. But anyways, back to the story. We finally get to the bathroom, as is often standard in a public restroom. There are a handful of regular able-bodied stalls and one handicapped stall. As we're walking to the back of the restroom to the handicapped stall, I'm praying in my mind, please God, let it actually be vacant and clean. Because almost every time I roll in the bathroom, if there's one person in there, they're in the handicap stall. All the regular stalls will be open, but the handicap stall will be taken. And what are they doing? They're pooping, they're looking at their phone, they're talking on the phone, they're changing their clothes. But the one thing they almost never are, is disabled. It ain't the luxury store, y'all. If you're not using the baby changing table or holding those grab bars for dear life, you should probably GTFO. Just kidding, but not really. Side note, why are those changing tables always in the handicapped stall? Why is the world trying to put me in competition with young mamas? It's the battle of the stroller wheels versus the wheelchair wheels. Anyways, when the handicapped stall is actually empty, it's usually because someone already destroyed it. I just don't get it. But apparently people walk into public restrooms and say to themselves, hmm, I think I'll break the bathroom and make some poor underpaid janitor's life a living hell today. Well, gotta have a big stop for the big mess I'm about to make. Ugh, just why? Back to the story. So we open the door to the stall and... <laughs> horrible because why wouldn't it be are we really surprised at this point i'll spare you and myself from gagging and not paint a picture but let's just say that i don't even know how some of the stuff that was done to that toilet was physically possible so my mom bless her heart spent about 10 minutes wiping down with soap and water and paper towels so I can finally use the bathroom i've only been holding it forever by this point so anyway that's just another fun public restroom experience to add to the books, like so many others before it, like so many that'll come after it. If there really were a book, then perhaps it'd be titled The Wild, Woeful, and Wacky Escapades of a Babe 
with a mobility aid. Try saying that five times fast. Or if you have FA like me, just try saying it once without stuttering or slurring. Using a public restroom is a reminder of using a public restroom is a reminder of a few things. Hey, people can be selfish. That's what I'm thinking to myself when an able body person is taking forever in the handicap stall while my bladder is bursting. B Humans really are just dignified animals. That's what I'm thinking when someone has treated the handicapped soul like they're in the woods. And here's a question for the world. How about not obstructing your bathroom door from opening all the way? The boxes can go somewhere else. Also, it'd be cool if able body people could stick to their designated stalls. After all, y'all have multiples and I only get one. And if people raised in bars could use the bathroom there instead of bringing that ish, literally, to the handicapped stalls of public restrooms, that would be splendid. That's all for today, guys. Hope that was kind of informative, kind of funny, spreading awareness, but also not taking myself too seriously. So anyways, thank you for dropping by. Hope you'll like this video and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, have a great day and God bless you all.